Hi, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to use Record My Desktop to record HD videos that can be uh, played on YouTube. I'm going to use a video editor called Pativi, which is an open source piece of software that runs on Linux. Um, I can't really get into the specifics of all the libraries that you will, will need to get Pativi to work, but there's pretty good documentation if you go to Pativi's website, and it'll tell you what you all need to get that going. So Record My Desktop should work on any Linux distribution that, you, that you're currently using. Right now I'm running this on Fedora 17, obviously. So I'm going to show you how to use Record My Desktop, adjust the settings correctly, capture your audio separately, rather than using the format of AUG, which is in uh, Record My Desktop, so you can blend that back in using Pativi to get a high-quality video. So I'm just going to go to uh, my virtual machine here. The first thing you want to do So you want to launch Record My Desktop. And you want to disable sound quality because we do not want Record My, uh, Record My Desktop to capture the audio device. Click on Advanced. I usually just leave this uh, default. Performance. You'll notice right here how it says 15 frames per second. You want to change that to 25. Leave zero compression enabled. Okay. And you also want to have full shots at every frame. Have that enabled. Sound is irrelevant, as we're not going to be using Record My Desktop for audio. Miscellaneous, I just leave everything there default, and then you can exit out of there. Next, you want to launch, uh, oops, excuse me, Sound Recorder. Oh, where is it? You notice by default, Sound Recorder opens up and it's using AUG. You want to change that to Voice Lossless Wave Type. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to do your screencast. You're going to hit the Record button on Sound Recorder, and then immediately, as quick as possible, hit Record for Record My Desktop to capture the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So now Record My Desktop is running in here. I'm not going to do a lengthy video, but you can see what is going to happen. This is the output that we're eventually going to, but so just ignore that for now. When you're done your screen recording, simply shut that off. You notice this window will pop up. Do not touch or close this window. It's going to take a little bit to encode the video. Oops. And then you want to stop your audio. So this will take a little bit of time. I'm not going to go to. I'm not going to get into great lengths on that. But eventually, it will generate an output file. By default, record my desktop. Puts into your home directory, and this out dot wave. That's one that I created before. So I'm just going to go back to uh, my workspace one, my host machine. I'm going to show you how to use Pativi. So launch Pativi. You're going to be brought to a welcome screen. It's going to ask if you'd like to create a new project. So select new. For video, on the left side here, you want to choose 1080p24. So my screen, your screen resolution, uh, depending on what you use, may change. I usually just leave it the default. Frame rate, I leave this as default as well. And I leave pixel aspect, aspect ratio default as well. In audio, you want to make sure that you're usually, uh, using a stereo channel with 16-bit depth. Info, you can name the project, the author, as you, as you so need to. And when you're ready, click OK. So this is Pativi, Video Editor. It's uh, not near as powerful as Premiere Pro or anything like that. So hopefully don't set your hopes too high, but it, it actually will do this job quite nicely. So once you have your video and your f audio saved, you simply click on Import Files, 
I'm going to go to my home directory. So I'm just going to mimic that virtual machine, which is right over here. Okay. So you see that it's done. You can quit that. This file here that we used to record, you'd want to save that file. Okay. So this is this outwave. I'm just not going to use Pativity within my virtual machine while I'm trying to screencast because the performance hit it's it's pretty bad. So you're gonna choose no mod. Okay. And then you're gonna import your audio file. So come and choose out.wave. Okay. And then simply drag your video down to the video timeline and release. And this will take a bit to pop it in. Whatever you named your WAV file, I usually just name it the same as whatever my, uh, my uh, video file was from Record My Desktop. So then drag it down to your audio timeline, like so. There's an inline playback that you can use right now to uh, play the video and the audio. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that briefly so you get an idea. Okay. Now you'll notice here I had I have a I'm going to zoom this in. You notice how I have quite a, a lot of empty uh, audio. So what you can do on Pativi is simply drag your timeline to the appropriate section. Let's try here. Click on this timeline. And you want to make sure that the audio is selected. If you if you see if you click on the audio timeline, you can get it to drag. Now once if I wanted to remove this section, for example, you can just hit the S, the letter S on your keyboard, or if you go up to timeline, you can see where it has the, the split feature. So let's go ahead and hit split. So you notice now I have two sections here. So you want to select this section. And then you just want to hit your delete key. So that will remove that one little sound clip. Then you just come onto this, drag it over to the front, to the beginning, I should say, sorry. And then you can play. Okay, this is a screencast on how to use record my desktop. So you see how now my audio is in line with the timeline for my video. And this is where it can kind of get a little tricky. You're going to have to experiment with this. The reason why I like to have my audio stream separate from my video stream is sometimes, uh, for any of you that have used Record My Desktop, you'll notice that sometimes your audio sync will lag behind your video. So you can go through here in your audio section, use the inline playback feature to see, just to make sure that your audio is indeed in sync with your video. And then using this little browser or this little zoom feature here, zoom in on your audio. And anytime you see extra unused audio in your time and your you can come in here and delete chunks and then just try to to get your audio to sync back in with your video now I'm not a video professional at all so I apologize I'm sure I'm not even using the correct terms but for doing simple screencasts in Linux with the record my desktop you can use Pativity editor uh, to make some Decent, uh, decent little clips. You can also, if you want to have some background music, this is where you could uh, grab another import file. If you had another, uh, say, sound MP3 or sound wave, you could simply select it. I don't think I have anything in music. No, but if I did, you could grab it, which would import it into your library, and you could drag that down to another uh, separate audio file. And of course, naturally, your video would play with your voice and then you can ad and adjust the uh, background music if you if you so needed to. So that's basically it for... Uh, oh, excuse me, no it's not. So once you... Imagine that we've edited this timeline, or edited this clip. Let's go back to the beginning. We need to export this or render this this video clip. So you want to come up in here to where it says render. Select that. And this is the most important part to get HD quality videos, especially for YouTube. So on the left side under the render, render preset, you want to choose HTML5 video. You notice that it will give you the WebM extension. And it's going to save this into Jeremy, my home directory. So let's just call this uh, YouTube demo. 
Okay, you'll see the container formats WebM. Click on video. You want a hundred uh, scale at a hundred. There's our resolution. Frame rate. You can bump this up to 2997 if you want. As a rule, for those of you that have done lots of video, you know you don't ever want to upgrade any kind of video if possible. You want to keep it as true as you possibly can. The reason why I upgrade here rather than in record my desktop, because I found that sometimes 30 frames per second on my particular computer just um, record my desktop doesn't do a very good job. But by using at the 24 or 25 frame rate that I showed you, it, it should be adequate. Codec is uh, VP8. And then on the audio, make sure again it's stereo, 16-bit, and the codec is Vorbis. So again, I didn't have to change anything here in audio. In video, I did upgrade the frame rate to 29.97 FPS. In general, name your project and hit render. <coughs> Excuse me, hit render. So this, depending on how length, the length of your video clip, this will take some time. And uh, we can just go ahead and watch that or not at all. I'm just going to hit cancel. And I'm going to go out. In the workspace three. I already had one that was brought out here. So when you play that video, this is a screencast on how to use record my and that's what rendered so far. So over here on the right, you can see it's 1920 by 1080 VP8 video, 25 frames per second, Vorbis stereo, and there's a nice bit rate. So now you can upload this to your YouTube channel, and you should have uh, the ability to play high def videos or high res videos in your YouTube channel. And this is all done with Linux and free and open source software. Thanks. Hope this helps you.